Hello again. In chapter 2 we are talking about the role of the ascendant in your motivation to be happy. There is a technique developed by uh, astrologer Robert Solar that is based on uh, some indicators, uh, astrological indicators of course, that are using classical and medieval astrology. This technique is uh, about to identify specific needs of each person. And these needs could lead to a happy life. Zoller is talking about primary motivation or essential motivation. And this is not negotiable. It's like you are born with it. Let's talk about a little bit about motiv motivation. Uh, it's a fundamental concept in psychology and uh, depict the fact that on the human behavior there is always a bunch of uh, motivations, needs, trends, affects, interests, intentions, ideals, dreams, and all of these are sustaining realization of some actions, facts, and attitudes. To know the motivation of a person, it's like you have the answer of the question why. And this means, and uh, brings to, uh, lead to uh, an activity. So if we go deep in a motivation uh, theory, motivation uh, are, can be extrinsic, intrinsic, primary and secondary. Extrinsic motivation, it's about the motivation that are coming from the benefits and gifts and what other people or institutions give to us. So the factors of motivation are external. A person can have an extrinsic motivation. This kind of person will work to a task even doesn't have a profound interest, but at least uh, have a common sense of duty. The com recompensations are minor, a smile, a good word, a small gift, a good mark, but also major, like fame, fortune, power. The intrinsic or inner, deeper motivation is coming from inside and it means the pleasure that you feel when you are doing a good thing. You have an inner satisfaction because you have a passion to do this. For example, you feel the need to help people. Uh, if that person you feel that you need help and you help, you will be very pleased and really happy. A person with this kind of motivation can work uh, for a complex problem only because have a pleasure in it. The people with this kind of motivation, very well developed, it's very easier for them to be happy with the less. Uh, let's talk about a little bit uh, about primary motivation or the, in other words motivation that you are born with it's linked with the instinct and we are born with it and also of course it's important what kind of social and education influences are coming after this a part of uh, primary motivation are linked with food needs for food for water and the other ones are linked with personal development. 
also sexual needs are here. And these satisfactions of the primary motivations are a must for our survival and for a normal life. It's a common sense. When we are talking about secondary motivation, it's about what we are doing for ourselves to be, to develop and to be better day by day. Because the society is developing in such a way that we have to be better in what we are doing and the competition is very high. The inner motivations are transforming, uh, let's say, in uh, external ones. For example, we haven't been born for need to uh, uh, travel by plane or to have a computer or mobile phone. Everything like this are the result of human evolutions. And for the adaptation, integration in this environment, it's a must to be motivated and to be motivated to develop yourself every day. Okay, let's go a little bit now in astrology. When we are looking for motivation in natal chart, we are looking very carefully to the ascendant, the quality power of the master of the ascendant, and the planets that are in the uh, first house on the ascendant. Let's see about the ascendant. Uh, the ascendant in the diurnal or sign or masculine sign, if you have this ascendant, it means that you are able to obtain what you need and what you want by yourself without uh, too much help from outside. If you have ascendant in nocturnal sign or in a feminine sign, all this that you obtain depends on the environment, people, actions, all kind of events that can influence you. Also, if you have this ascendant in nocturnal or feminine sign, you are searching for advices from other people because you feel that other people know better than you what you have, which is the best way to do some things. You are searching very carefully before you take decisions. And maybe you want, in a way or another, other people to make decisions instead of you. Mm. This is not bad, this is not good, it's a way of living. Astronaut in diurnal or masculine sign. You are searching the other people's advices to see how many options do you have and to be sure which is the best for you. But most of the times you already took this decision and the advices that you are uh, receiving from others are counting not too much. Only it's like a confirmation about what you decide, already decided. Let's see how is the ascendant when we are thinking about mode, cardinal signs. You know, the cardinal signs are Cancer, Capricorn, Aries, and Libra. The nocturnal signs, I mean Cancer and Capricorn, uh, they are operating and using a lot of quantity of actions, information, and they need a structure information from other people. The ordinary signs, uh, Aries and Libra, they are very good in using circumstances. 
fixed signs. They need a center, an equilibrium, balance. They, have, they are very good in acquisitions. For example, Taurus for goods and money, Leo for glory and honor and power, Scorpio for mysteries, hidden things, secret motivations of other people, energy, and Aquarius knowledge for mutable signs. They are between like between cardinal and fixed signs and they have more interest in the same time they are doing uh, more activities in the same period and they are everywhere let's see the element that is important and how it's working the ascendant for each element fire gives for ascendant power and freedom for action. For example, uh, ascendant in Aries or Sagittarius or Leo. Ascendant in air sign. A lot of moving and freedom for expression to say what you think. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, earth element, physical security and material security, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, water element, means emotional security for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. The house where the master of ascendant is very important in your natal chart. Uh, because of this, and to know exactly your ascendant, you need to know your exactly hour of birth time. And to obtain efficiency, you need to see and analyze the ascendant through domicile, if it's an exaltation or in triplicity. Also the nature, the condition, the force and the placement of the masters of ascendant shows if and in which way the native can attain this basic motivation and in which way can attain it, the happiness. Generally speaking, we should have 144 situation about basic motivation because we multiply 12 signs of motivation with the 12 houses of realizations. You need to have in mind that planet through that we realize that the satisfaction of basic motivation should be powerful and performant. If it's weak or affected, the native could have problems to attain this motivation and happiness. The planets in the first house on the ascendant and the planets that have make a, an aspect with ascendant offers very good information and that you uh, need to uh, uh, use in your uh, analyze. Have a nice day.